It's time to get rid of these toys. days ago I decided it was time to go through all of our bins upon bins of opened toys that we had stored in our basement in our um, storage room we had I want to say like 30 bins of toys that were organized by category and these were toys that we had opened in videos dating back years ago from when we were basically a hands channel where it was just my hands opening toys and we realized that it's time to get rid of these toys and give them to someone else who is going to be able to enjoy them more than we do right now because they basically just sit in our basement. What are you girls playing with right now? Well, basically, we're basically just playing with this huge glitter glider tower. Yes, this glitter glider tower was one of our favorite toys that we featured in some of our first videos before the girls were mostly in the videos. It was mostly just me at that time. Yeah. Anna was actually one of the girls' favorite toys uh, when they were a little bit younger. And we've hung on to it because we just love it so much. We wish they still made them. And so we think we're gonna give this to our cousin Layla Jane because I think she will love it just as much as Addie might and even as much as I've loved it. These are glitter gliders, right Maya? So they're yeah. princess dolls. You wanna show them how you change their clothes? Yes. Yeah. They're so really simple and fun. You can like switch up like ours because you can swap the wings so you take off it. And then and you can, can put another dress on and just swap it on her. So now she has Ariel's dress on. Now Ariel has Rapunzel's dress. Yes, and the glitter gliders have little um, wheels at the bottom. Yes. Here's their palace. Yes. Okay, so they can go down here. And let her go. There she goes. She just rolls and glides sleep. down. And then so now they're on the dance floor. Yeah, we just love them because they were so cute. They're just little princess dolls and you can change their clothes. They're super easy for little hands to do and I'm sad that they don't make them anymore, but I know Layla Jane's gonna love these. I'm having Eddie take pictures of the castle from several angles because we don't have the instructions anymore and that way their Aunt Karen can see how to put it together when she gets it in the mail because obviously we can't ship it all on one big piece. So if you don't know who we're talking about when I'm saying Layla Jane and Aunt Karen, you can check out their channel, Hey Mamas. Layla Jane is the girl's adorable little two-year-old cousin and their Aunt Karen is my sister and they're gonna love all this stuff. What are you looking through, Mai? What are you finding? I'm finding a lot of things like these. Yeah, those were all the Beauty and the Beast toys. Yeah. We filmed these when, that, when the new live action movie came out. Yeah. What else did you find that you love? These adorable animals is Puppy, oh, these were the monkey. animals in my pocket. Those were super fun too. There's also some shimmer and shine. Oh yes, these are the teeny beanies. Yes. These are taking me back, Maya. We filmed these a long time ago. Uh-huh. We even have toys dating back to like the secret life of pets. We have Zootopia, um, Smurfs, some Doc McStuffins thing. So I think I might label them all so that we can knows what they all are and then maybe she can introduce the toys as she introduces Layla Jane to some of these movies or TV shows as she um, gets older every year. Let's take it apart and we're gonna put it in here as neatly as we can. Layla Jane loves trolls. Does she like trolls? Yeah, but she likes Frozen more. But I'm pretty sure she likes trolls. Well, maybe you can introduce her to trolls with the trolls toys. Yeah. And then we also have a whole bag of magic clips, which were just like glitter gliders. They're princesses where they clip on the different outfits, but they don't have the wheels, so they don't glide, but you can still change their outfits, and they're so fun. Bye bye guys, but I'm not gonna be gone for long, because someday I'm gonna go to Jane's house, so bye for now. Maya is usually my child who has the toughest time with partying with things, so I think she is already holding back a few things she wants to keep, but I'm encouraging her to be generous. Which ones do you want to hold back, Maya? The animals, because they're soft, and it's hard to say bye to animals. The animals. And Oh, the these, teeny genies? Yeah, okay. they're really cute and 
fun. And then this one is the princesses, the princesses. but they're like little kids, <laughs> so they're really pretty. I see. All right, I think this is good to go. It is stuffed to the brim with so many toys. And I can either imagine Aunt Karen being so thankful for all the toys or thinking, what in the world are you doing giving me all these toys to clutter my house with? <laughs> Hopefully she'll like them though. Yeah. <laughs> But if it's too many toys for her to handle, I know that Layla Jane has a whole bunch of neighborhood friends, so I'm sure she can easily share the toys with friends. Take some out, Maya. What is this? Ah! <laughs> Look, there's a fly. I am a shark. When we had our toy school set in our basement, I bought this activity table and it was part of the set. We had floof in it, I think at the time. We've used this for so many activities for the kids. We've had water beads in it or Orbeez. We just had a bunch of scene in it with some fun toy construction equipment. And I decided today it was time to change it out. And today I put in kind of like a soapy mixture and some ocean animals. I did not you. Oh no, a crab! It's, it's a blue called crab. a blue crab. Oh. I ate you. And also I pinched you. Ah, I'm dead. There's a flying fish. <laughs> it looks like a, a looks like it has wings. Ooh. And, and then a long guy. Wow. Yeah. I like to put together these tables specifically for Colin because it's great for just some open-ended play where he's actually learning some things but doesn't realize it. But truthfully, even though I put it together for Colin, all the kids usually end up digging Help in and me. playing around. Look at his eyeballs. Yeah! I found these bins containing the sea life creatures on Amazon actually, and I really like them because the sea creatures are actually really good size. Sometimes when you order from Amazon, you're just not quite sure what you're gonna get, but these are good size play figures. So this is the reef squid, I believe, and this is a giant squid. What else do we have in here? Oh, this one you don't like, Maya? This is called a moray eel, I believe it said. <laughs> you don't like this, do you? No. What about you, Colin? Yeah. Yeah. So I know everybody likes dolphins because they think dolphins are really cute, but my favorite sea animal is the manatee because I think they're kind of so ugly, they're cute. And I'm trying to find it here so I can show it to you. Oh, here it is. He's so ugly. He looks like a little elephant face kind of, but he's really cute because he's so bite ugly. Bite me, bite me, so I can show you. And you got the blue something? crab, Colin. I'm a dolphin. Bite me, Dyson. Speaking of sea creatures and marine life, we did a video a few months ago where we bought new pets hermit crabs and we haven't updated you on them in a while. We've had a few questions asking, are they still alive? How are they doing? Well, I'll let Addie update you. They are all alive. Yes, and where are they? They are all in their shelter right now. They're hiding, aren't they? So who is this? This is nothing. <laughs> uh, Which is what um, Colin named yeah. his hermit crab. He recently changed his shell to Hermione's old shell. Right, so as hermit crabs grow, they outgrow their shells and they transfer to new ones. So it always happens during the night. We never see it, but nothing is now in a bigger shell. This is Treasure. But she's... you know what? Okay, there she is. You can see her in her shell, her little mm -hmm. claw. Maya actually changed Treasure's name. So she's changed it like three times. It was Treasure, and then I think it was Winter, and I think we're on Frost now. Hey, Maya? Yeah? Come here. So Maya, we're talking about hermit crabs, and we need to know what is your hermit crab's name now? Because we, I can't keep track. It's Treasure. We have Treasure again? Yeah, it's always been <gasps> Treasure, Frost, No, it has, treasure. wait, it was Treasure. Frost. Frost. It was Winter, treasure. wasn't it, for a while no. too? No, okay, so we're treasure, back to Treasure. Frost and then Treasure. There's Treasure hiding inside there. She doesn't want to come out, she's camera shy. And then here's yours. Yes, Hermione. She has the coolest shell she hides in. Oh, she has. And it's she's really cool. buried back there, right? Yeah, like, she's still like even really into see the her in there. If you want proof that they're still alive, I have some proof that they're still alive. <laughs> On my iPod, actually, one morning at around like 5 a.m., I have this video of Hermione out of her shell. During the day, we rarely see them out of their shells, but at night you can hear them moving around and Addie caught this video. There she is, moving with that big shell on her back. Yes. It's crazy. It's hard to believe that she's really in here and moving that much because we don't see her. Yeah, and then she's like 
now trying to lug herself up onto the log and she actually makes it. So they really do climb all over their little habitat and just lug those big shells with them, which just seems crazy. You know what I kind of think we should do? What? Maybe we'll leave the room and we'll leave the camera out and we'll leave the crabs here and see if they move. Should we do that? Sure. All right, let's see if you can capture them on camera moving for you. Okay, here they go. So I've actually caught the crabs eating grapes. So I cut a grape up into pieces and we're gonna see if they can eat it. Nothing that both moved. Yours didn't move though. No, treasure's actually really fast. <laughs> treasure was really fast. Yeah, we have proof. You can see they're alive. They're hiding back again because we came over and as soon as you come in the room, they tuck under their shells again. Mm -hmm. That's why it's hard <laughs> to get them in action. One of Colin's favorite activities to do with his sister Maya is play with magnetiles. So we've been growing our magnetile collection over the years. And I recently saw something on Pinterest and it was that you could actually play with your magnetiles because they're magnetic on your garage door and build a really cool designs all over your garage door. So I kind of yeah, think we should try that. Do you want to try building your magnetiles on the garage door? On the garage door? Yes, do you want to try it? Yes. What about you, Colin? Yeah. Yeah, let's go try it then. Okay. Well, we got a little distracted by the power washing, which is kind of cool to see, but now we're venturing over to the garage door to try out our magnetiles. Well, it does work. The magnetiles do stick to the garage door, which is super fun because the weather is getting beautiful here right now. It's like we're getting a hint of fall. We're down like the mid low 70s. It feels so good. And so we're always looking for more things to do outside. And now we know we can take one of the kids' favorite toys, magnetiles. And not only can it be an indoor toy, but now it can be an outdoor toy as well. And it's looking very colorful, Addy. <laughs> I love it. Now, we just have to make sure nobody opens the garage door. Yeah, because a lot of these are on the cracks. That would be bad. <laughs> watching everybody be sure to subscribe to tic tac toy tic tac toy family and xoxo, XOXO gaming, gaming. <laughs> we'll see you next time bye guys bye, bye.